my name is Dr. Anthony Chow. I'm the proud new director of the San Jose State School of Information. And as a first generation uh, American born son of immigrants, I'm fully committed to all things associated with equity, diversity, and inclusion. And now truly understanding and not merely tolerating our nation's unique diversity truly paints the profound and beautiful tapestry that ultimately defines who we are as Americans. This symposium will be the first of many that the iSchool will sponsor as part of our commitment to equity, diversity, and inclusion. Our theme today is making vital connections, understanding and serving the Hispanic Latinx community. Family goes beyond the members of your house or your blood relatives. It continues in your life. And that's something that keeps me connected and keeps me humble, but also grateful that I'm living this experience and I'm finding ways to continue to contribute back to our community, but also to honor those that have come before us. So that's just my, my brief story of what family and how family connects by being Hispanic, Latino, Chicano, Mexican-American. I think part of our job as librarians, uh, as faculty, as students even, as parents, um, we're really here to help equip the next generation with the um, expertise, the resources that are needed to um, help the next generation be better, be smarter, be more culturally competent. But we have to remember that Hispanic and Latinx communities, going back to my earlier point when talking about the terms, are very diverse in it, each of these communities themselves. So librarians are really trying here and are helping to close the gaps by working closely with their communities and I think this is a very conservative profession and we need to be uh, more uh, uh, willing to take risks in the profession. We need, we need to be treated like equally as human beings and we're not. And we need to say that out loud. Libraries need to get on board with creating change. They need to be pushing change. Racism isn't about ignorance. Are there ignorant racists? Yeah. But racism is about power. And people don't give up the power willingly. We need to make sure that we open our doors and make people feel welcome, whether it's a public library, whether it's an academic library. That's one of my big things that I do with an outreach is how can I make the students where I work with feel welcome? You know, we, we all have to go into new environments and we all are challenged to deal with new environments and we should never feel that we don't belong and, and we have to own it and we have to learn. Um, I just wanna thank everyone. This has been a true dynamic webinar and I thank Max for inspiring us to be that change. And uh, he's provided enough arsenal in my mind right now that I'll be in touch with you, Max, in the near future to uh, talk about other things. Um, I want to thank all of you. This has been fantastic. Thank you for the opportunity to share my story, but also to listen to your stories. Um, all of you are doing wonderful things. 